Hi guys, welcome back. We haven't been around in a while. We took a little yeah. bit of a break after the summer, but we're back today to talk about another safety hot topic. Yeah. Um, we're gonna cover vaping today, which is a super popular topic in the news because it's really sweeping our nation and it's yeah. very dangerous amongst our students. And so we're just gonna cover a few main points and we're talking about the popularity of vaping and why students um, are engaging in vaping so much and the problems schools are facing with discipline and what they're mm -hmm. seeing in the school campuses. We're gonna tell you specifically what is in all of this craziness and then we're gonna wrap up with a couple laws so that you know what to be aware of and what to talk to your students with. We're so glad to be back with you today. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's crazy. I feel like I can't turn on the news in yeah. the morning, afternoon, or evening and not see some sort of news coverage on vaping. For sure. And I know that all studies say different things, but we just kind of want to show you guys um, what we're experiencing within the Safe Schools Institute. Mm -hmm. When we go to schools, when we talk to students, when we talk to teachers and law enforcement, what we're experiencing and what they're experiencing as well. So first, like Sydney said, um, I'm going to start off with talking about why is vaping so popular with students. So first and foremost, the size of vapes is really small. I mean, you can there's big ones, there are large yeah. vapes, and they come in all shapes and sizes, but they also can be super small, which kids really really like it's so easy for them to conceal it mm -hmm. when it's small i mean the small ones you can even just hide in your fist and so a student could be jeweling and you just think that they have What's basically sorry thank you <laughs> um so it's a it's a brand of a vape and so a lot of students that's a, a very popular brand and so a lot of students yeah. will say they're jeweling instead of vaping but it's the same it's the same, it's, it's the same thing it's like the name so brand. they could be exactly they could be holding a vape to their mouth and you not even realize it the second thing that's so popular with vaping is that it comes in it comes in flavors um there's tobacco nicotine flavor but there's also mint and mango and um, bubble gum. There's a ton of flavors that it just it's just more appealing to students to have that than the regular flavors. The third reason is that it's also reusable. With a cigarette, when mm -hmm. back in the, back in the day, so to speak, when students would smoke cigarettes. Um, you know, you only smoke one and you have to throw it away. With with a vape, um, all you have to do is buy the actual um, product itself, and then you just replace the. Um, e-juice or the the vape the, the pod, flavor the pod, yeah. the pod itself and so you can just you buy one vape and you buy mm -hmm. a ton of pods and you just replace them and so it's almost like kids are feeling like they're saving money or it's they're just going green with they're their, going green with exactly their vaping. with their vape it's <laughs> it's kind of crazy and then the fourth thing you guys that we can attribute the popularity to is that it's just so easily accessible unfortunately mm -hmm. um you would think that it wouldn't be but vapes and all the different kinds of vapes are sold in gas station grocery stores marts smoke shops i mean you all you, over the place all over you just walk around you drive and you're going to see them and you you know cindy will talk about laws in a second but um we are seeing a lot of people a lot of people that work at the store selling them to underage kids as well so let's talk about what schools are seeing um this has actually posed a huge issue in schools because huge. of how easy it is to conceal right. So there's vapes that come in all shapes and sizes that look like USB ports, that look like pins, that look like Apple watches. They look just like regular everyday items and they can be concealed in clothing so easily. There's like all kinds of mm -hmm. hoodies and stuff that like the string on the hoodie, you can conceal a vape, all kinds of- In the of bottom stuff. of your watch. In the bottom yeah. of the watch. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. So it's easily concealable, um, easily accessible, but also a lot of the pods or the type of vape that they use in schools is flavorless and odorless. So it dissipates super fast, so fast that like a teacher could be writing on the board. Um, kid pulls their vape out, takes a puff or two, and then by the time the teacher turns back around, the vape has dissipated and it's odorless. So they might think they see something, but they can't be for sure. When they catch them in bathrooms or hallways or even in classrooms, um, they aren't fully sure what to do <laughs> okay so there are laws and we'll talk about laws like in in a second but yeah. basically it's hard to fully identify and it's super easy to conceal so schools are really struggling yeah absolutely i mean when when vaping first came out we definitely knew that there was going to be health issues mm -hmm. to talk about and the rise in popularity i just never thought it would get to the point where students were bringing them 
to, to school to all the school, time. It's so common to bring. We them talk to, to teenagers every day, and they'll flat out tell us, "Oh yeah, my friends just have them in their backpack. They're always in their hand. They do it behind the teacher's back. It's just kind of I crazy." Was, I was at a school doing a well, multiple schools doing teacher trainings over the mm -hmm. summer, and this is a main topic that they were talking about, yeah. like how to spot vaping and what to look for because it's become such a popular thing. Absolutely. Even if we're going into schools to talk about social media, they'll mm -hmm. have us cover vaping at the very end. Yeah, just for just, a just brief to bring minute. it up. Mm -hmm. So before we get to the laws and before we wrap up, I just want to mention the a couple chemicals that we definitely know are in a lot of these vapes and why they're so harmful and what they could potentially do to your to your student's body. So propylene glycol is the chemical in antifreeze. Uh, there's vegetable glycerin, which is the chemicals in shampoos and toothpaste that you can yeah, buy but if you the like counter. read the label on shampoos and toothpaste, it says do not ingest, and the reason for that is when you ingest that kind of thing, it puts a kick, a thick coating on your lungs right. over time. So that's why it's so bad in a vape. Right, and then the formaldehyde, which is actually used in the preservation of animal specimens. And so with the propylene glycol, the vegetable glycerin, and the formaldehyde, these are, these are not chemicals that are supposed to be in your body. Um, and so not only is that dangerous, but just like Sydney was saying, when those chemicals are um, inhaled into the lungs, they can coat um, your lungs with like a really, really thick, like syrupy yeah. kind of coating, which makes it harder and harder to breathe. And that's a lot of the stuff that you're seeing in the news today. A lot of respiratory issues. A lot of respiratory issues, absolutely. And the last thing with this and just the, the harmful side effects of the chemicals and, and we don't know what's going on is we feel like a lot of the population that vapes today um, are almost like an experiment. Yeah. And we just don't have enough research to say what are the long-term side effects here. And you know, um, it's hard when we see these young kids that could potentially really be damaging their body. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing that is in, that I forgot to mention earlier, that is in all of this, all of these vapes is high, high level of nicotine. And nicotine is extremely, extremely addictive. And the amount of nicotine that's in one little pod, one little, I don't even, how do you explain a pod? Contain, I little, mean, it's, this it's big, like this much yeah. of vape juice is, equivalent to an entire pack of cigarettes. So we see students who are going through multiple pods in a day. Multiple um, pods a day, and, it, and it's so scary because a lot of the students will vape thinking that this is so much better than cigarettes because it's, it's tobacco free, mm -hmm. and we know all the really scary, harmful side, effect, side effects of tobacco, but they're forgetting that it still has nicotine just like cigarettes do, and the nicotine levels are very high, so it's high. flavored, it's more fun for them to smoke, therefore causing addiction. Mm -hmm. So the last thing I want to leave you with is the new laws when it comes to vaping. Um, laws change on September 1st and it is now illegal to buy any kind of vaping product if you are younger than 21. So just like the drinking age here, now vaping is the same. Um, it used to be 18, but it's changed now. So a lot of students aren't aware of that. They knew that it was 18, but they're not aware of the change right. there. So, um, school campuses, sorry. I, forgot my last name. No, you're good. That's <laughs> um, just like tobacco products and alcohol of any kind, vapes are also illegal on school campuses. So school campuses can punish however they want to punish um, if they find vaping on their campus. Exactly. Yeah. It goes against the student code of conduct. You cannot bring those types of things to a school. Mm -hmm. So I know we tried to squeeze that into a very short you know, period of time, but we just wanted to be able to touch on the four main things we wanted y'all to know about. Um, please stay tuned for other videos and blogs to come. We are posting blogs on vaping, gaming, terroristic threats, and Halloween safety. And you'll also see a video of gaming as well. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye, Bye. guys.